am Raul. I grow almost all my vegetables from seed. I plant my tomato and pepper plants in small pots in my garage during the winter. The seeds germinate and grow there for a number of weeks. I transplant them to the garden when the weather warms up. I sow other seeds such as beans, cucumbers, and squash directly in the garden. One of the advantages to growing transplants from seeds is the wide variety available. Another advantage is the quality of the plant that can easily be produced. I suspect plants that are grown for retail sales are manipulated to improve their shelf life, and this may affect their health and production later in the season. I have supplied friends and family with transplants for years and have received consistent feedback on how well these plants have performed over retail purchases. I purchase most of my seeds from seedsandsuch.com. They have good prices and a very wide selection. I'll post a link to their website in the description. A packet of mail order seeds contains from 10 to 20 seeds, while most retail seed packets contain a little more. 10 seeds will usually result in at least 8 viable plants. I purchased various varieties of tomato, pepper, bean, and cucumber seed. Many are the same each season, but I often try one or two new varieties. For tomatoes, I grow big beef as my main variety every year. I grow a few other varieties to make my crop interesting, like a pink variety, German Johnson, and a cherry variety, Jolly. I also grow Roma 3 and Inca as my paste varieties. I'll often plant leftover seeds from the previous season as well. Even the free packet that comes with my seed order. For bell peppers, I grow green, red, orange, and yellow varieties. My varieties this year are Alliance, Baron, Garfield, and Early Sensation. I keep track of the varieties with a list of this season's selections. A copy is provided to friends and family that receive plants. Please subscribe to my channel and continue following this year's journey. The subject of my next episode is determining when to plant the seeds for transplants.